guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie and today we are watching Rocky. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and welcome if you're new. Today we are diving on into a movie that has been suggested quite a lot here on my channel and one that I, of course, have heard about a few times in my life. Rocky is definitely one of those movies that I never watched because I think I just assumed that the source material wasn't going to interest me because it's kind of a sporty movie, kind of a jockey movie from what I presumed about it. And um, I'm not that into boxing or sports movies typically. But this is one that I know is iconic and for, I presume, a good reason. And I've heard good things about Sylvester Stallone in this movie. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is a movie that he wrote himself and it was like a part he wrote for himself because he would have had a hard time playing a lot of other roles. Obviously, I've seen clips of that moment when Rocky's running up the steps in Philadelphia. I think I've been to those steps, actually, because I visited Philadelphia a few times. I'm actually uh, an Eagles fan, but uh, that's not why I visited Philadelphia. I didn't get to go to an Eagles game or anything like that, but... I like the city of brotherly love. I, I dig it. So I'm interested to watch a movie that was partially filmed there in Philly. This is just a movie that has been mentioned so much and I feel like is so ever present in pop culture and I've just managed to avoid it my whole life. And I'm excited to finally watch this one with you guys and see what it's all about. See what amazing moments are present in this film. See why it's so iconic. This is actually a bit of a surprise for the folks on Patreon because I did put this movie in a poll recently and the last samurai ended up winning that poll, but the vote was really close between this movie and the last samurai. So I decided to throw this one in as a surprise uh, for all my folks on Patreon. Um, because sometimes I just like to keep people on their toes and just do things that no one is expecting. So I'm excited to be watching this movie. And uh, if you didn't know, I do have a Patreon page where you can catch my full-length reactions to everything we watch over here on this channel. I always link that in the description bar down below. And also you can vote in polls over there and help me decide what I'll be watching next. But I really don't have too much to say about this movie because, yeah, all I know about it is like that iconic song and boxing and Sylvester Stallone. So I think we should just hop on into this one. I'm really excited to see what it's all about and how epic it actually is because <laughs> I, I really have no clue what the script is like. I couldn't tell you a single quote from the movie. So I think it should be a fun one. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. Has he not gotten in a hit yet? They're throwing food at him. Oh. So this is where he's starting from. He's probably got these big aspirations to be like a good professional boxer. And he's like doing amateur boxing and losing. He's got a long way to go. Oh, oh, he made him bleed. He got angry. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He won because he got angry. Oh, so there he's got some promise. I see. You got to make him angry. <laughs> Wow, this is a really professional a cappella group out here on the street. <laughs> I liked the way that we just followed him the whole way home. Like, we didn't cut. We had to see how he lives in this last apartment. We're going to follow him quietly the whole way. I like long shots like that. You should have seen me. You guys hungry? Is he talking to the fish? Are there fish in there? Or are those toads? What are those? You know, the last turtle food I got here had more moss in it than flies. You know what I mean? Oh, those were turtles. And they get what? Huh? Show shot. Oh, he's trying to make her smile. That's cute. Oh, he's a big boy. You got a taste of that turtle food, Rockhead. A lot of eye contact there. I'm wondering if they're going to get together. I don't know how old she is. She looks like she could be young, but I don't know. Huh? Where are you running? Where are you running? What is this? What's happening? Say it's the Gaza wants the 200 now. Yeah? I'm broke. I'm broke. I'm broke. Does he work for the mafia? I think he said Gazo. I don't know what the name of the guy is. I wonder if he's a mob boss. That would be my guess. Tomorrow, three weeks. Del Rio? All right, I got it. Look at these hipster glasses. They're clear. Oh my God. The somber piano music and being left out by the train tracks. 
It's such a mood. He's got that ball, too. I love it when I see... I don't know if that was, like, something that was written into the script or if he just, like, picked that up on set. Because I love it when actors, like, find objects or habits for characters. It's, like, it can be so different depending on the actor. So I love seeing what people do with it. Was the lock changed? What the heck? They couldn't have changed the lock. He got it taken out of the money that he made. Wait a minute. What the hell? I was just going to break it. You're not just going to go talk to someone? Oh, boy. Okay. That's one way to handle it. It ain't your locker no more. <gasps> Why? Mickey tells me what to do. I got to do it. Right, Rock? He's in a bad mood. So am I. Uh, hey, man. Shut up. Yeah. Not in a good mood. You ever think about retiring? No. You think about it. Oh, poor Rocky. There's got to be motivation for him to try to do better. There's a good game down to the Spectrum tonight. Want to go to the basketball game? Oh, the awkward tension. I love it. Don't these birds look like candy, you know? Like flying candy. Hey, bro, you want to fly me home? Oh, like he's, he's like wants to be this big fighter, but he's like such a, a gentle guy. You know, he loves animals, doesn't want to break Bob's thumb. Good night, Adrian. Good night, Rocky. <gasps> She said something to him. Oh, she does like him. I love her glasses too. Really, a really unique choice to give like a shy girl like her those cool retro cat eyes. Like, hey, yo, Paul, every day, every night I pass by you. This is giving me the shoulder. You know what I mean? Oh, Adrian's his sister. She's a freaking loser. Hey. Oh. I could split her head with a razor. Oh, jeez. Hey. She's pushing 30 freaking years old. Oh, she looks great for 30 if she's pushing 30. In her, well, I guess she'd be around my age in her tw late 20s. You still work for a Gazzo? Yeah, sure. Why don't you talk to him about me? Well, I just don't think Gazzo's hiring right now, you know? Oh, his friend needs a job, and he's like, oh, he's not hiring. You're, like, You're speaking now of your much publicized bicentennial fight. Oh, the thing he wants to do, this is going to be what he aims for. Says here, Mackley Green has suffered a severely cracked third metacarpal in his left hand. Now, you better find me another rank contender, and I mean a flash jerkin. Oh, this is where Rocky's going to come in, huh? They're going to probably hold a competition. Is he going to hold a competition? Without a rank contender, what this fighter's going to need is a novelty. Yeah. This is the land of opportunity, right? Yeah. Apollo Creed on January 1st gives a local underdog fighter an opportunity. To beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I was like I'm an almost maniacal laughter as they're shaking hands. So it was kind of funny. It's gonna work for this for this movie, but I feel like if anybody did that in real life nowadays, like if um, Floyd Mayweather recruited like an underdog to compete with him, you'd be like, "This isn't fair, Floyd. You're gonna kick his ass." This is what I'm looking for: the Italian stallion. Oh, he's really just going to handpick him. I thought there was going to be like a competition, but I guess not. My God, Rocky's whole life is about to change. Try to be a loser. Don't call me that, Polly. <laughs> I would be so uncomfy if I was at this friend's house and this was happening. Polly, it's Thanksgiving. I got a turkey in the oven. What's he doing? No! Wow, that's so rude. Go in the alley and eat the bird. Oh, that was really rude. I think he probably ruined it any chance they these two had, Polly. I don't want to say. Funny. How about you apologize for your friend's behavior, her brother? <laughs> Start with that. Yo, Adrian, it's me, Rocky. Rocky, you know? Yeah, you've been standing here this whole time, Rocky. I mean, what do I say to a door? Hey, listen, I can never forget. You're doing fine. Oh, that was so ADR. You could hear the ADR. Like, the sound changed so dramatically when that line was played. That was so funny. She's ready to go. I do feel kind of bad for Adrian. Like, no one told her she was invited on this date, and then she's, like, making a full-blown turkey. She does need to get out, though. But just Thanksgiving is a weird day to do it. Ten minutes, ten bucks. You have the ice to yourself. Ten bucks. A minute for a dollar? A dollar per minute is, like, steep even now, I'd say. At least you let him on. That's nice. Oh, he's not going to do it. Just her. Oh. See, I'll tell you what the trouble is. You see, I'm a southpaw. It's a southpaw. Oh, uh, southpaw means you're left-handed, and southpaw throws your timing off. Oh, really? You know where Southpaw came from? Nine huh? minutes! That's so romantic, the guy yelling the countdown. This is like a speed date. He's trying to, like, work it all in. My mother, she said the opposite thing. What'd she say? What'd she say the opposite? She said you weren't born much of a body, so you better develop your brain. Did she say that? Oh, that was cute. She, he finally got her to share something about her, herself. No, I gotta go. 
Hey, come on. Hey, I got some animals. I got these rare, very rare animals inside. Where? Come on. Rare animals. I think she knows about your turtles. Hey, I got. Hey, look at this face. Is that a face you can trust or what? She said no like three times already, Rocky. I mean, he's not gonna hurt her, but yeah. <laughs> she, you, she really needs to be like pulled out of her shell, like a turtle. <laughs> I got some things in there. I got, uh, if you like, uh, soda, some donuts or something. She probably wants the turkey that she was making earlier. Because <laughs> it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> These are the exotic animals I was telling you about. These are my friends, Cuff and Link. He's kind of like a gigantic golden retriever, Rocky. Yo, why don't you come on over uh, here and sit down? Oh, uh, his place is such a bachelor pad. It's so gross. It's kind of gross, Rocky. There's big bugs in there, you know. It's safer over here. You have beer bottles on the perimeter of the couch. <laughs> like, oh, this is so disgusting. He doesn't even care. He's like, oh, it's nice. I don't know you well enough. I've never been in a man's apartment alone. Well, I have. They're all the same, you know. <laughs> I'm so uncomfy. She's, like, so uncomfy. She should have not come in here. Dude, stop stepping towards her. She's, like, giving you all the signs that she's uncomfortable. I always knew you was free. Don't tease me. Not teasing. Aww. Oh, she's got like really low self esteem. I want to kiss you. You don't want to kiss me uh, back if you don't want. I'm like so uncomfy, but also like he's he's still being sweet about it. It's like she's been like putting out these signs that she's very uncomfortable and that this isn't consensual, but also he's like, I want to kiss you, but you don't have to kiss me back. Like, I don't, he's kind of being nice, but also like. <laughs> holding the door closed but also i feel like she kind of needs to be pulled out of her shell like she's kind of a little neurotic it's it's funny like they work but like <laughs> i was uncomfy there for a while <laughs> with the boxing gloves hanging on the door all right girl get it <laughs> girl hey mick was looking for you up there man for me yeah you sure did did apollo contact mick about rocky how funny would that be yeah, there was some guy here from Miles Juggins looking for you. They need sparring partners for Apollo Creed. They'll probably look for sparring partners for Creed, you know? I said that before, yeah, but... you dumb dago! <laughs> you don't want to know. Yeah, I want to know how come. You want to know? I want to know! Oh, we're having this climactic fight right now. Because you had the talent to become a good fighter. And instead of that, you became a leg breaker. To some cheap, second-rate loan shark. Oh. Wow, so much tension from Mick. This Rocky really, he could have been a contender. Is that what this is, this is from? Could have been somebody. No, that's not what that's from. Is that from On the Waterfront? What is that from? Oh, I like the way that that was filmed. That was cool. Is he not surprised at all about what's going on? You don't understand me, Rocky. My proposition's this. He's gonna die. He's gonna explode. Would you be interested in fighting Apollo Creed for the World Heavyweight Championship? No. Listen, Rocky. No. Does he think this is a joke? It wouldn't be such a good fight, but th thank you very much, you know. He's turning it down? He picked you, Rocky. It's the chance of a lifetime. Uh. You can't pass it by. Ah, the suspense. Come here, Rock. My main man. Oh, he was on the interview. Yo, Adrian, it's me, Rocky. Ah! Oh, that's cute. I guess you'd be looking for people to help you out. Oh my god, Polly is relentless about wanting a job. You want me to get you a beer, Polly? Hey, you looking to do a good deed? Keep out of my freaking life! Uh, Polly's just a head case. <laughs> Adrian's really opened up to him. This is sweet. She's talking more. You know, I said that stuff on TV didn't bother me none. Yeah? It bothered him. It did. Yeah. Oh, he's only opening up to her about it, though. Oh, he's got somebody he can be honest with about his feelings. That's nice. You know, you ain't never had any luck. But I think this time Lady Luck may be in your corner. I don't know. I think Rocky's going to lose. I actually have no idea if he wins or loses. That's like such, probably such a big part of this movie, and I've got no clue. But I think he's going to lose. I think it's about hope, though, you know? It's like I don't know if winning is the point. I think it's more just about taking your shot. Is this Mick? You get a shot at the title. Is this guy coming with his tail between his legs to see if he can train him? Well, what you need is a manager. Uh-huh. I mean, look, look at this. Uh, I got 21 stitches over this left eye. I got... Man, he's really pitching himself right now. It's so annoying. The staging of this scene almost feels like a play. Yeah, I got heart, but I ain't got no locker, do I, Mick? Uh -huh. I need your help about 10 years ago, right? 10 years ago? Mm -hmm. You never helped me. You didn't care. Yeah. You're too little too late, Mitch. Or Mick, or whatever your name is. 
I don't want it. I'm 76 years old. You're trying to ride his coattails because you feel like a failure too. Oh, he's like, nope, I'm done talking to you. He really just deflated over the course of that conversation. I have no baby from you. Don't slow around me. What about my pride, Nick? At least you had a pride. Oh, he's saying it all now. Are you come around here. You want to move in here with me? Come on in. Come to my house. <laughs> I'm happy he heard some of that. Oh, is he actually going to wait? Now he's going to wait. After all that, he's going to actually ask for his help? Seriously? Wow. Oh, I really wasn't expecting that. Maybe he realized, okay, I do need help. Holy You have to be really humble to be like, okay, I let me swallow my pride and go accept his help. Wow. After all that. Interesting. I like the way they shot that too with it, the transaction and the handshake being really far away. Oh, is this the movie that everybody talks about when it's like drinking all the raw eggs? Yeah. Oh, this is what originated. How many have there been? Is this like five? Five or six? Ah! Ah, gross. And they do it. They do that all as like one shot with the refrigerator light on him, which is genius because art style wise, that's cool. But also like, you know, he ain't faking. You know, there was no cut in there. It was all one shot. He really did that. Ugh. Good on you, Sylvester. Ugh. Oh, yeah. These runs that wrestlers and boxers have to do because they have to like make weight and like or maintain a certain weight. So they run in all these sweat sweats and layers so that they sweat a lot. Wrestling and boxing is really dangerous on the body just because of that. Like not, aside from the whole fighting and how dangerous that is and concussions and things like that, making weight is also so strenuous on the body. They, they really go through a lot in, in those sports. Oh my God, is the iconic, the iconic moment has to be coming. This has got to be the whole training sequence, huh? I'm excited. You know, I, I don't think that those five or six eggs that you crushed and then didn't digest and just started running immediately, I don't think that that helped you either. Maybe you should have waited on the eggs till after the run. Because <laughs> at this point, I'd be throwing up. Uh, I see. So we're going to see how bad he is at the end of the run, getting to the stairs and how much better he's going to get, you know? It gives you a frame of reference. Yeah, I got a lot of work to do. Oh, there's Polly. Is he drinking on the job? I don't see it. What's the attraction? Well, you're just a jerk to your sister. Fills gaps, I guess. What's gaps? I don't know, gaps. She's got gaps, I got gaps. Together we fill gaps. I don't know. Oh, that's kind of sweet, Rocky. Thanks, man. You stink. Jesus. Is he going to punch the meat? Really? Okay, this poor cow did not die for this. If we do that to Apollo Creed, they'll put us in jail for murder. <laughs> Polly is such a like annoying like be I know you, you don't like your job but like it's not your friend's job to get you lined up with another gig have some initiative do it yourself you don't need to work for Gazzo there's other jobs Rock. what how about you give us your other get out of here oh. <laughs> I love okay I love Mick now women weaken legs oh can't you just hang out with her and not have sex? Like, I don't, I do, I did love that he screamed at those women for interrupting his training though. That was really funny. Oh, don't break Adrian's heart, Rocky. I'm not gonna be okay with this. Yo, you look great. Yeah, she really does. She looks beautiful. I got, I got another surprise for you. What? My kids. Oh! To keep you company when you run. Oh, oh my God. He eats little turtles. Yo, my kid! Oh, he eats little turtles. <laughs> Is he gonna be a running kind of dog? Maybe he will. <laughs> What's that, Bucky's, huh? Whose truck is this? So there's a news truck here. Polly arranged it. Oh my god. They're having an interview in the meat locker. What about you? I'm in charge of the meat. Oh, fine, would you stand behind it, please? Yeah! She's like, get the f out of here. Is this a common training method? I mean, do other fighters pound raw meat? No, I think I invented it. <laughs> Pound raw meat. <laughs> this is just like so stupid. He's showing how he punches, you know? He's like gonna learn how he fights. Like, you gotta come look at this boy you're gonna fight on TV. Looks like he means business. Yeah, yeah, I mean business too. Is he bleeding all over the cow? Oh, oh, Apollo's not taking him seriously at all. Interesting. The guy that works with him is like, ooh, you wanna check him out? He's good. And Apollo is like, no, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Interesting. Maybe Rocky does have a chance. Maybe Rocky will win. And this baller keeps asking me for a job all the time, but he don't know nothing about fight. Uh, he's here. Guys. What's to say? I just don't know what he wants from me. 
I don't want nothing from you. Uh-oh. And he's drunk, too, so this is great. Oh, God. I'll break both your arms so they don't work for you. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. I cook for you, I clean for you, I pick up your dirty clothes. I take care of you, Polly. I don't know you nothing. Oh, Adrian is finally speaking up. I, like, kind of feel bad for Polly, but I'm also like, dude, pull yourself out of it. No one owes you shit. Like... It's like, I, I just, I pity him. Wow, there's a lot of drama going on in Rocky's life. You want a roommate? I guess we're gonna move in together, even though he's supposed to be staying away from women. Oh, Polly's here? I figured some angle to make some money off your name. My name? Hey, you can make money off my name, make it, okay? Uh, I don't think, I don't think that's a good idea to tell Polly he can do that. I feel like he's gonna do something bad. Oh, it's totally time! Ah! Look at him running through Philly. Ooh! You know, I went to one boxing class where they were like, tried to get me to do this, and I could not. I physically was like, I couldn't go fast enough. I just, it was weird for me. I didn't like it. Wow, I really don't know if he's gonna win or lose now. I'm really like, invested. I feel like he still may lose, but like, that's not the point. I don't know. I think the point is just being, just going for it, you know? Taking your shot when you have your shot. Oh, he's sprinting. He's sprinting! Run, boy, run! Oh my god, look at him. He's getting faster and faster. He's sprinting up these stairs. Come on. Yes! This is the clip, you know? This is the iconic clip. Oh, the slow motion. I didn't realize that was coming. It's getting closer, the fight. I can't beat him. Oh, he's having his doubts. It really don't matter if I lose this fight. So all I want to do is go to distance. And if I can go that distance, you see, and that bell rings and I'm still standing, I'm going to know for the first time in my life, you see, that I weren't just another bum from the neighborhood. <sighs> wow. He's going through his dark night of the soul moment. Getting ready for the fight. I'm glad that he didn't listen to Mick and he kept Adrian around because she's not just a girl. She's like the only person he opens up to. And he needs that right now. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god, what are they smelling? I Oh my god. Any boxing fans in the comments? Let me know. What was that? Oh wow, what a fancy Italian stallion robe. Good luck. Don't leave town. Oh, she probably wishes she could watch out there so desperately, but it would be way too much of a distraction if she was out there, I think. I trained you to be a fighter, not a billboard. I'm doing it for a friend. Oh, the shamrock meets. Polly gets three grand, I get the rope. Ah. Uh... Good job, Polly. Okay, that's fair. That's fine. He did Polly a favor. That's good. Oh, soak it all in while you can, Rocky. I'm worried he's gonna lose, but you know. We're old there. Have you seen what that was? Shamrock. Me, Shamrock. Me. Oh, good. They said it out loud. Good. Oh, he's coming. Wow. And a boat, riding in a boat. Is he supposed to be George Washington? He's dressed up like George Washington? Oh, wow. What an entrance. Boxing really is a show, man. Rocky looks shook. Look at his face. Oh, now he's Uncle Sam. Oh my God. What do you think that outfit was? <laughs> <laughs> he looked starstruck, but also like, what the f is he doing? Good evening. A very happy New Year. Oh, it's New Year's Eve. I forgot what day it was they were fighting. I thought for some reason it was like the 4th of July with all this American patriotism going on. The many luminaries of politics. Wow, I really feel like I'm in the stadium with this audio quality. I think Rocky's gonna lose, but I think he's really gonna give Apollo a run for his money. Cause Apollo hasn't been taking him seriously. I think that's the kind of movie this is. I think Rocky will lose, but I think he'll really get close and do well. I hope so anyway. Weighing 210 pounds. He weighs more. He weighs more. He's also taller and better probably. Watch your heads, no button. Shake hands now, come on. Whoa, I kind of love that bird's eye view watching the microphone get, get reeled back up. Oh, I'm so nervous right now. I don't think there's much time left in the movie. I'm so nervous that it's gonna get, he's gonna get knocked out or something. I'm so nervous, ah! I feel sick. Oh, I don't believe this. The champ is down. What? He got him. Holy moly, he didn't knock him out, did he? Holy moly, he got him? This is the first time the champion has ever been knocked down. The first time? He's gotta get up. He's gotta get up, but he can't wobble, right? He got knocked down. Holy moly, really? Oh, Rocky, come on, Rocky, come on. Is that gonna be the whole thing? He's gonna get one punch, but he's not gonna- Got him on the rail! Oh my god. Ah! 
I am so scared. <laughs> oh, Jesus, no. Get up, Rocky. Oh, boy, that was a bad hit. Was his nose broke? Did he get his nose hit? Your nose is broke. How's it look? That's an improvement. That's an improvement. Wow. You know, I'm really happy that we brought that back around because it, it was mentioned twice how he's never had his nose hit. So it's fitting that this would be the fight where his nose finally gets hit by the champion. Oh, my God. Come on, Rocky. Get another hit in. Jesus. What's keeping him up? I don't know. What is keeping him up? Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Holy this poor referee. Oh, break him up, break him up, break him up. Oh my God. Wow, this is so intense. This is suspenseful, y'all. How many rounds are there in boxing? Does it just go? How long does it go? Oh, he did say that his goal wasn't to win. He just wanted to be standing at the end of this, right? So maybe that's what's going to happen. He's just going to try to stand and he won't win. But if he survives, that's what his victory. 13? Yeah. He's taking the Jake Paul with uh, or late Logan Paul with Floyd Mayweather tactic. He's like, you can hit me, but I am just want to stay standing. Oh, his eyes are swollen. Come on, Rocky, stay up. Oh, he's down. Oh, she's coming out. She's finally coming out. He's getting up. Wow, Apollo's face is swollen too. Oh, he tagged him. Chapman got a left to the ribs. His right... Oh... Is his rib broken? I can't see nothing. Gotta open my eye. Cut it. Cut it? Did he just have him cut his eyelid to reduce the swelling? That's so f***ed up and disgusting. He's so hardcore. He's like, cut my face. Oh my God. I am disgusted. That is insane. They're still gonna keep fighting. He's got internal bleeding going on. Apollo's internally bleeding. My man Rocky is slitting his eyelids open. <laughs> Oh, don't kill him though. I'm nervous. Oh God. Oh, he's spitting up blood now. Oh, he's spitting up blood. End the fight. Jesus, we don't need him dying. Okay, Rocky. I, Rocky, I think he's hit him in the head, not the ribs anymore. Oh my God, he's doing it. He did it. Ain't gonna be no rematch. The one one. There was. It just said there will be no rematch. He won. Oh my God. He went the distance. What you think about when the fifty? Adrian. Oh my god, that's what this is from! Adrian! 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 Oh my god, that's what this movie is from! How did I not figure it out until this moment? I've, I've heard people quote, Adrian! Oh, she lost her hat. A split decision? What? Oh my god. Oh, 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 that's beautiful. Wait, so is it split? It's a split decision. It was really hard to hear what's going on. Oh my God. And that's the end. Holy <laughs> shit. Wait, so if I, if I heard that correctly, it sounded like there was a split decision and they said there's going to be a rematch and it sounded like Rocky said there will be no rematch because he doesn't want to do it again. So maybe they'll say like Apollo won or something, but it, he only cared that he could go the distance and say, say fighting that whole time. So he accomplished what he hoped to accomplish. And Adrian knows that. That was really beautiful. Oh my God. I can't believe I knew her name was Adrian from the beginning of the movie. And I, I didn't piece it together that he was going to be yelling her name at the end there because I've definitely heard people do that in life, but I just, like forgot it was in this movie. Oh, wow. So cool. Wow. Yeah, definitely a good movie. I mean, it won an Oscar, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but I really liked this. Definitely really enjoyed the lighting, a lot of the long shots. By long shots, I mean like long time-wise. Like we held on things for so long. We followed people for so long. We did such long pan around shots. I really enjoyed that we were able to kind of settle into a lot of moments with people. I really enjoyed the scene between Mick and Rocky as well because I feel like it really perfectly encapsulated what the whole movie is about in a way because he's coming over and he's with his tail between his legs and he's trying to pitch himself to Rocky as his manager because he really wants that chance to be somebody too and he wants to he sees this opportunity that Rocky's getting and he wants to attach himself to it so that he can also be more than just a bum from the neighborhood and he even says at the end like the last thing he says in that scene is I'm 76 and you just feel how deflated and hopeless he feels 
because he just wants one more shot at something glorious before he dies. And everybody just wants a shot in this movie. I mean, Polly wants a shot in this movie. I love that Adrian was the only person who didn't really want that. You know, Rocky saw something in her before he had been given this chance and they had a connection before and she was a rock for him when he needed it and could like open up to her and know when he could open up to nobody else. And it's so beautiful that in the end, you know, the only person he's opened up to about how he wanted the fight to go and what he hoped to accomplish was her. So then when that moment happens and all the only person he wants to see is her, like my, oh, it was so beautiful. I really, really enjoyed that. I thought the script for this movie was great. I, I did have a hard time understanding certain things in some moments because there's a lot of people talking over one another and um, certain lines that just weren't super clear. So sorry if I missed anything crucial or misunderstood stuff. It was the closed captioning was really out of sync, so I couldn't really use it, and it was kind of tough to follow in those moments. But for the most part, I really enjoyed the script, really enjoyed the staging of a lot of the scenes. Yeah, really enjoyed the direction, really enjoyed the writing and the lighting and the cinematography and just so much about this movie and the metaphors within it and what it stood for. I really found it fun and heartwarming, and yeah, I'm really happy I got to watch it with you guys. It's one of those iconic movies that there there were quotes from the movie that I knew. I had just forgotten that I knew them, like Adrian, that moment. It's just so funny, you know, when you piece these things together after years of hearing people yell them or quote them out in life or in public or even in pop culture, and you don't remember or realize where they're from, and then and then you see them. <laughs> It's really fun to be having these moments online with you guys. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out. It lets me know that you guys want to see more content like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye. Will you come say hi to the people? Come here. Come here. You are holding a whole fit. Ugh. Okay. Here's the little weasel. Should we go play or something? You're throwing a fit. I know you don't have to go outside. I took you outside two hours ago. Bye. <laughs>